Today I'm in Air, on the west coast of Scotland. At first sight, the beach looks quite clean and tidy, but if you look a little closer, you'll actually see it's covered in litter. Big pieces of waste, like this one or this one, are quite easy to spot and to collect, but the beach is actually full of small pieces of plastic, like this one. They are the most dangerous ones because birds and fish eat them and they enter our food chain when they end up on our dinner plate. Local residents in the towns of Air and Troon were horrified by the amount of litter lying in their area and decided to take the situation in their own hands. They are coming together to tackle the issue of improper waste disposal by organizing litter picking events in the town centers and on the beaches. They want to do their part in keeping the environment tidy and to encourage other people to take pride in their community. What we do is we take the plastic away from the sea so it can't go back in. Small pieces like um, the tops off bottles because they are they are the worst things for the seabirds because they float on the surface and they think it's food. I'm very disappointed. It's absolutely unnecessary and uh, you know, people should just take, take this stuff home, but uh, for some reason in this country they don't. I think it's very sad. For me it's a matter of pride in my town to see that it looks clean. It's unbelievable what you find. We find fishermen's gloves, hundreds of cigarette ends, bottles, cans, full and empty. Really, you name it, I think we find it. There's a lot of cigarette butts which don't biodegrade. We found shoes, you know, slippers, plastic bags, um, a lot of straws. Why do you think they do that? I cannot, I cannot fathom out. I've never dropped litter myself. That is the question I can't answer. I, I find it absolutely amazing that people would just throw things down instead of taking them away with them. I think there's a lack of discipline in people and they expect other people to clean up after them not cleaning up after your dog, not cleaning up after your children and not teaching your children to clean up after themselves. Local authorities play a key role in keeping the towns clean and in protecting the environment. They encourage and support the initiatives of charities and single individuals by collecting free of charge the bags of waste from the litter picking events. They are also going to schools to teach kids about the importance of responsible litter disposal. Despite the collaboration of efforts between the council and the public, what is the reality about litter? One of the latest figures that we have uh, from the Scottish Government is, th is that uh, more than 15,000 tonnes of litter is disposed in our urban and um, rural environments. Do you think it's, uh, there's a specific group of people that actually do litter or just anybody really? Well, you know, that's an interesting question because I think lots of young people get bad press for littering. But when you look at the big trunk roads, that's people driving past. That's not youngsters. That's, that's adults that are driving cars and chucking stuff out the window. Now, the problem is if you have children in the car and they see you doing that, then it becomes normalised. I personally have encountered various people from various backgrounds, various professions, various ages, different genders, so I don't think it's specific to, to any one group in my experience. I just think we've become lazy and we, we probably don't quite understand the, the environmental impact. We have, a, I think, a really robust uh, litter bin infrastructure throughout South Ayrshire and the amount of times you see litter just dropped next to a bin, you know, there's just, there's just no excuse for that, no excuse. There seems to be a stigma around picking up litter. The stigma should be around dropping the litter, not picking it up. Um, and we need to try and change that mindset again. Why are we doing this? This is the council's job. Which is quite bizarre really because A, the council don't do the littering, it's, it's the people that do the littering. But I find it incredible that people want the council to spend money on picking up litter when that money could be put good to good use elsewhere. Roadside litter is particularly expensive. You can't just send two guys with, with litter pickers and high-vis vests and say, go and, go and pick that road. 
we have to put traffic management on for that to ensure they're working safely. Education, education, education. It's educating people to take it home and make them realise that things like cigarette butts take decades to rot away. I think it's got to be a complete change in mindset of everyone. I think it comes from the parents at home that you don't just leave things. I think everybody has to realise that plastic doesn't decay and they can't just abandon it. And they can't assume they're giving somebody else a job by dropping litter. I think it's, it's really, really important that we educate our children. We make information available to them about the, the harmful effects of, of littering and the damage it does to the environment and to the, the state of our town. Plastic litter is one of the most problematic waste uh, that we have in society. To give you an idea uh, about the complex uh, structure of these materials, uh, a water bottle needs more than 400 years to decompose. This is not a natural product. This is something that has been synth synthesized artificially and the composition is so complex that even the recycling is complicated because we need a lot of energy for the transformation. So that has a very long-term effect on our seas and on our oceans and the degradation of that litter is what gives me the biggest um, grounds for, for concern and how it may affect um, the fish which, which in a selfish way we're consuming so it will ultimately affect us as well. Gulls are a, a problem which you can trace back to litter in the, in the food source for people not dealing with waste responsibly. We, we do some uh, waste enforcement as well, uh, litter fines etc, but the beach one's particularly problematic because in order to issue a fixed penalty notice you need to see the, the person depositing the waste and obviously leaving it. I'd like to think where secondary schools are concerned we, we would try and encourage and educate that rather than um, enforce. We can't leave a legacy of an environmental chaos for future generations. For as long as I have been in Parliament, it's been much talked about is the need to reduce litter at source um, and to reduce packaging. What we have here is some of the alternatives to conventional plastics. These are bioplastic. The lifetime of this plastic is much shorter. Some of them can be biodegraded by microorganisms. I think it's embarrassing that tourists come here and they're driving along the road and there's nothing but litter there. It just gives you that kind of feeling of, oh, do you know why, why do you bother? Nobody else bothers, but, but actually, if you do bother, it can make a big difference. Litter is having a devastating impact on the environment. There's no doubt of that. But what can be done to solve this issue? Littering is usually the result of small-scale individual actions, sometimes deliberate, but often lazy or careless. The key is knowledge. If we teach kids to respect the environment and we change adults' mindset, we'll be able to revert the effects of improper waste disposal and work together towards a greener future. Julia Candussi, UWS News, AIR.